Hi guys, thanks for joining me back on my channel. Bit of a different video today. Um, I don't know whether you saw the intro video yesterday, but I'm gonna do a few chats, which include kind of my personal experience growing up as a teenager. I just thought this was a good way to perhaps do some chats that might be relevant to some teenagers out there. And the first one I just thought was, I get asked so often, about my work as a model. I've modeled for decades and I have a lot of experience in the industry. I have been so lucky. I've worked with some of the most incredible photographers, makeup artists, hairstylists, and production teams ever. Um, I really, really, really do feel so blessed for the experiences that I've had. I've traveled all over the world working, um, LA, Cuba, Italy, France. Have I had any dodgy experiences? Yes, I really have, quite a few. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some of those. I'm also gonna talk about getting into the industry and what are the pitfalls of working as a model, traveling as a model, and things just that you should watch out for, I guess. So if it's something you're interested in, then this is the video to watch. Um, so a little bit about me. I never actually wanted to be a model. It was not something that I never looked in the mirror and thought, you could model, you've got it girl. Um, I was never that person. I've always been somebody who lacks self-confidence. Um, struggles with self-esteem, certainly never looks in the mirror and feels beautiful. I will see every flaw, everything that is wrong, and I don't see everything that's right. And self-confidence is something, people say to me, God, you're full of self-confidence, how can you do that? I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, it's not self-confidence at all. Um, I have learned over the years, I guess, studying acting from when I was young, I've always loved performing. And I think one of the myths about models and actresses is that they have loads of confidence and find it really easy to stand up in front of people. And I guess sometimes it's mistaken for loving yourself and thinking a lot of yourself. But that is one of the myths that I can tell you is not true now. I've met some of the most insecure people ever in the industry. Some of the most famous celebrities that I've met, some of the most beautiful, stunningly beautiful models that I've met have also had the lowest self-esteem the lowest, you know, the poorest self-image ever. Um, and some of the best actors that I've met, performers, presenters, who can get on stage and entertain thousands of people, also suffer from low self-esteem. And, and, and I'm actually not very confident and I know that sounds really strange and it doesn't make sense, but when you're acting, you can step into a role and quite often that is so very different from the person that you are. And modeling is more about acting than you would imagine because you have to play the part. Um, I believe personally, and I think um, I come from a modelling area, era, area, area. It sounded a little bit Australian. I come from a modelling area. <laughs> um, what I meant was I come from a modelling era, where, which makes me sound really old, doesn't it? I come from a different era. Mm, well, I do, because um, I have actually been modelling for decades. Um, I am a dinosaur, but. The era that I was modelling in, the time when I was modelling, there wasn't Photoshop, there wasn't Beautify apps on your phone, there wasn't 
you couldn't just put a filter on your phone and suddenly lose the wrinkles, lose the spots, shave a little bit off the bottom of your arms, you know, lose the bingo wings, tuck that bottom in. And believe me, if you're not using those apps, those apps are what every girl is using these days. You can do anything on an app. You can make your waist half the size. You can completely change your makeup. You can put all these filters on. It's incredible what you can do now. And photo retouching and Photoshop is an amazing, amazing thing. You can highlight areas of a picture. There's so much you can do, but it does so, it does mean that the image you are seeing is so far from the image that's actually been photographed. Is it a good thing? Um, I don't think it's a bad thing or a good thing. I think it's um, it's just technology. It's how it's developed. It's massively helpful. I think. It is a tough industry to work in. It's really, really difficult because taking the casting process alone, you're walking into a room. And for me, I did a lot of lingerie and swimwear work. So you'd walk into a room and there would be the client in there. There would be minimum three people in a casting because you would have the photographer generally, the client, and quite often someone from an ad agency. So minimum three people, but could be up to 10 people casting. And obviously if it's for underwear or swimwear, you're standing there in your underwear or swimwear in front of this panel of people. And when you think about confidence and you think, God, that must take an incredible amount of confidence. No, it didn't. It just took guts not confidence, just guts, to walk in there and do it. That didn't mean that I thought I was good enough to stand there in front of people in my underwear. I still now won't get off a sunbed without wrapping a towel around my body. And that's after three babies. And to be honest, I couldn't care less <laughs> about who looks and who doesn't anymore. But yeah, castings are difficult because then you have this panel of people who are looking at your body and deciding whether to use you. Does your face fit the image they're looking for? Does your smile work for them? Does your body suit what they want? Is it too this, too that, too thin, too fat, too glammy, too curvy, too skinny, you know, there's so many reasons why you might not get chosen. It is so hard when you go to a casting and you don't get it. It's so hard not to take that on board in a negative way. Um, and you go to casting after casting after casting. You can't help feeling knocked back each time you don't get something. So... If you're someone who wants to get into the industry or you're watching this video because you want your child to get into the industry, know this, it's not easy. It's not just about looking pretty. It's not, I think that is the biggest false perception ever about the modeling industry. Oh God, I wish I could earn money from just looking pretty. Well, guess what? That's not what you do as a model. It's not what I did as a model. You can be good at what you do. You can be rubbish at what you do. Um, you have to look after your body. You have to look after your skin. You have to look after your face because even with the amount of photoshopping and the amount of post-production that we have in this day and age, it's your product. It would be like turning up as the photographer with the wrong lens on your camera you know your body needs to be worked on um so it is hard work and going to castings is hard work you're putting yourself on the line you're not showing someone a project that you've made and them saying they don't want it you're showing them you it's your face, your body that they're saying yes or no to, of course that's gonna have an effect on your headspace. 
Um, other things I get asked about the industry, um, I certainly didn't fit the mould because when I was in Italy, working with some incredible fashion models, um, I can remember going to do some of the shows and none of the other girls would eat and I was tucking into that mozzarella di bufala and oh my god, the pizzas in Naples. Who could travel to Naples, whether you're doing a fashion show or not, and say no to the best pizzas in the world? Not me. Um, same in LA. Oh my God, how could how could you go to LA and not enjoy the parties? What do I want to say about the model industry? Um, yes, it is a tough industry to work in. It's really, really difficult. Um, the knockbacks are tough. The casting process is tough. You have to go to so many castings before you get that job. And yeah, and that is not not easy. Very few people just make instant success overnight. It's There are so many people who want to be in the industry, so many people who want to model, and so many people that will do it for next to nothing. It's, the industry is flooded with girls who want to model and guys who want to model. And I think reality TV has a part to play in that as well. That people want this overnight success. They want to go from um, not working in the industry to being highly successful the next day. That happens to so, so, so few people. It's actually a job you have to work on. You can be a good model and you can be a rotten model and you have to be able to act you have to be able to work with a camera you have to be able to work with a photographer you have to be able to take direction these are really 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 important things if you're not willing to take direction and you think that being beautiful is enough then you ain't gonna get anywhere is the casting couch a thing yes of course it is um are there men taking advantage of girls who want to bit succeed yes but that's the same in any industry i don't think it's that much worse in the modeling and entertainment industry because the same thing happens everywhere and and the flip side of it is is not just men taking advantage of women there are women taking advantage of men too. There are women who use their bodies to take advantage of men. It's not a one-way street. Um, but yeah, have I been in any dangerous situations whilst traveling and modeling? Yes, I have. I look back at my past and just think, oh my God, I could have got myself into so much trouble. The things that I've said yes to in my naivety, the amount of times I've trusted people that I shouldn't have trusted, um, the amount of times that I've believed people have good intentions when they don't. Um, I feel very lucky to have got through it fairly unscathed. So I guess what I would say to you if you're watching this video because you're thinking of starting to be a model, um, or your daughter or son wants to model, then it's a wonderful industry full of wonderful experience and you can earn great money too. You need to step into the industry with caution, with care. It's not a great place to go if you're already feeling low about your body image and low self-worth because there's knockback after knockback after knockback and it really does affect you. Um, and unless you're Elle McPherson, Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, or Kate Moss, then it's a hard road to go down. You have to put in so much before you get anything back. You have to have that spot on portfolio. You're, you have to know that there will always be another girl. So, if I wasn't available to do the job, then my agent phones the next brunette. And there's always someone prettier than you. There's always someone who wants it more than you want it. There's always someone who'll go a little bit further to get the job. So 
It's not easy. It's really, really tough. And I think it's definitely become more and more and more tough. I've been in situations before where I've been really stuck in a predicament and I've had to save myself and get out of a situation. And I would never want any kid to be in some of the situations that I have been in. So you need strength mentally and emotionally if you want to be a model so that is that i hope if you're thinking about modeling that maybe there's some tips in this video for you do please do get in touch i'm really really happy to take your questions for you to private message me please make sure that you're following hey mummy over on instagram facebook and twitter where i'll be sharing lots more goodness with you guys and experiences through my journey of parenting and looking back at my own childhood so I love hearing from you guys. It makes all the difference. So please do get in touch and have an amazing week. Bye.